afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the European University of Lef Lefkia's Colors of the Rainbows. Like we had mentioned to you before, we are proud to present all the different kinds of nationalities on campus. And today, I have with me two very young, uh, energetic, and special gentlemen from the country of Kyrgyzstan. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank Hello. you for being with Hello. us today. Um, today, I would like to talk about you, and I would like to talk about your country. So, welcome once again, and Thank I will you. pass over uh, the microphone to you. First, can we t uh, know who you are and where you're from and what you are studying here at EUL? Uh, okay. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Ermia Kisnaliv. I'm from Kyrgyzstan. I came here to in 2010. Mm -hmm. My department is Computer Information Systems. Okay. And uh, this is my last semester, and I'm graduating. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, when I came here first time, it was like uh, a dream. Mm -hmm. I didn't recognize, I, I didn't feel myself, you know, comfortable. Mm -hmm. But later on, I uh, become, you know, I, I, yeah, I adopted. Yes. Very good. Yes, Very good. and I like it so much. Good. Congratulations. Yes, thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. And how about you, Nur Sultan? Let's talk about you. Let's get to know my who name you is are. Nur Sultan, and I'm from Kyrgyzstan. It's, uh, this is my last semester, and my faculty is economy. So, I came here 2009. Mm -hmm. The first. Uh, Kyrgyz student here. Ah, yes, yeah. well done. <laughs> very good. So, uh, I like this university. Very good, very good. Um, I'm very proud to say that you are actually the first Kyrgyzstan student, and now you are standing next to me um, saying that you are going to be graduating very soon as well. Okay. Uh, it's a, it is a very honor. Um, because uh, to see students coming from different countries, you know, different parts of the world and di from different countries, coming into Cyprus, coming into Lefke, and getting the multicultural experience and going back to their country and sharing this experience uh, is good for you, and also it makes us very proud as well. Okay, so let's continue on with our discussions. Um, let's talk about your academics. Um, you said you were in the computer information systems, yes. okay? Mm -hmm. And do you believe that you are well equipped for the future now, as as far as a career goes? Yeah, in my opinion, yes, I really equipped for my future, and I get every knowledge from every lecture since the first year mm -hmm. until now. Okay. Yeah, I'm fully satisfied with my knowledge experience from my lectures. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And how about you, Nur Sultan? What do you have to say about your academics? Uh, for me, it's too easy to find a job. Ah, <laughs> okay. So, all right. So you're, yeah, you're studying very confident. <laughs> yeah. Very good. And I'm studying the Cyprus. That's a, that's a, like a good point for me. Okay. And uh, I will find easily a job, I think, in my country. Okay. Okay. And do you gentlemen have any um, plans of doing a master's degree in the near future? Or do you want to jump into your careerhood? I want to, like, uh, two years work. After the, after two years, I will come here, maybe. Ah, so I'm you will come back. Very yeah. good. That's very nice to hear. Very nice to hear. And how about you, sir? Uh, I'm thinking I need a job experience first. Mm -hmm. But if there will be some opportunity, I will just catch it and do my master's. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, very well. And do you find that studying here at the European University of Lefke helped you to develop um, not just your academics, but other areas as well, like socially, um, independently, you know, learning how to stand on your own two feet? Um, what do you have to say about that? Uh, yes, I uh, developed not just in a knowledge way, but in my social way, I become very, you know, independent, uh, like sociable. I understand what is correct and wrong in all, in my own opinion. Mm -hmm. I got so many experiences in mm -hmm. when I was, I mean, when I was alone without my family. Yes, it, it's a really good. So it has helped you develop. Uh, developed. I developed like a self 
self-improvement. Mm -hmm. uh, I know how to do in how to do and how to be in different situations if there will be some problem. Right, uh -huh. which is a part of life. You yeah, have to of, learn of one course, way or another. Of, <laughs> yes, of course, because a problem is a part of life. Yes, and we absolutely. Have to deal with very it. good, very good. And how about you, Nur Sultan? What do you have to say about your social surrounding here on campus? Social runs in, my, in here. Just um, how can I say? That's a lot. <laughs> there is. There's so much. Yeah. I understand. Uh, you were a very active young man. I know. Um, you entered so many different kinds of activities throughout the years. Um, do you have one specific activity that has stuck to your mind that you really, really enjoyed yourself? Yeah, in this uh, last year uh -huh. when I was in uh, fashion. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, the beauty I contest, the <laughs> EUL king and queen. Yeah, yeah very king. good. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I love this, the, <laughs> the king and queens. Yes. So that's all. <laughs> you enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay, all right. And did you gentlemen get a chance to um, to visit other parts of uh, northern Cyprus while you're here studying, like go to, you know, the tip of the island? Have you ever been to Karpaz? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, because we always recommend uh, students to, for sure, at least once in their years of study to visit Karpaz. It's such a beautiful area, mm -hmm. you know, and um, as well as Lefke. Now, um, we always specify that Lefke is a very quiet and um, uh, very, um, not just quiet, but also safe environment. So um, this means that, you know, is studying is very appropriate for Lefke because you're not distracted with any, you know, God forbid, any crimes or any political problems or anything like that. You know, everybody knows everybody. Everybody is, you know, because it's such a small community, you know your teachers, you know your friends, you know the administrative staff, you know. Have, do you think that this has a good effect on, on an education? I mean, what would you have to say about this, Emic? What, what do you think? Is this something positive in your opinion? In my opinion, it's uh, very p positive because, as a uh, first point, a uh, student came here for study, yes. for education. And in Lefke region, it's uh, like a uh, silent and, you know, a, like a comfortable harbor for us. Yes. And yes, as you said, everybody knows each other. It's mm -hmm. very nice because uh, if a uh, stranger appears, you know that this guy is not studying in this university. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yes, you can and tell from yes, the face. Yes, and yes. it's really good. Uh, even a number of students in the class in, is not so crowded. Right. When, let's say, you're late and you can sit on the first part, mm -hmm. you're going down and you can't hear, but there is, it's possible. Right. Yes. Okay, so it's easier to actually continue with your academics as well because yes. the classrooms are not mm -hmm. so large. Yes. Okay, and it makes it easier to mm -hmm. actually uh, study. Okay, very well. Um, let's continue on with uh, talking a little bit about Kyrgyzstan itself because I would like to introduce to our audience um, because the whole purpose of my program was actually to introduce the university to the world, but also introduce my students and their countries to the whole world as well, as well as North Cyprus. Okay, so you are from Kyrgyzstan. Yeah. Okay, the first thing that I would love to ask you is, what do you miss the most when you are here? Besides your mom and dad and your family. <laughs> <laughs> Nur Sultan, let's start from you. <laughs> I miss it, of course, the food. <laughs> 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 okay, all right, yeah. okay. Because but there is too, a lot of the fast food, that's why. Mm -hmm. So I miss the food and uh, the, uh, uh, of course, the, I miss the friends. Mm -hmm. it's, like, like it's, it's all. And when you're studying university life, you always tend to miss... Um, sometimes some students miss their families more, sometimes students miss their friends more or the food more, mommy's food, you yeah. know, because you're stuck always having to do, yeah, eat fast food or did you learn how to cook yourself? Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And what about, um, do you cook uh, traditional food or uh, did you learn how to cook all the different types of foods? 
uh, <laughs> we are cooking you everything. You know, <laughs> we learned to cook uh, like uh, classical food classical for students. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like food, yeah, like yeah, like yeah. pasta, macaroni. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> macaroni and <laughs> with tomatoes. Yeah. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, going back to Kyrgyzstan. Seriously, um, I've been in Kyrgyzstan for three times. In three times. Um, up until now. It's a beautiful country. I've been there in the fall and I've also been there in the winter. Um, the, the people are lovely and I must say that you know the culture is not so different from here in North Cyprus um, and that's why I guess it's easier for the students to adapt um, a little easier than other countries would be. Um, so what's the economical situation right now in Kyrgyzstan? I mean, how are things going and developing? Do you continue to follow up with your home country? How are things are developing? Yeah, things are developing. Economy is not just stuck. It's Yeah, it's, it's growing. growing. Yeah. Very good, very good. And do you think you will have... Um, Nur Sultan is very confident. He said he's going to find a job as soon <laughs> as he goes back, for sure. <laughs> so do you think it'll be easy for you to, to start your career seriously, guys? I mean, do you, do you think that opportunity is ready for you there in Kyrgyzstan? I think the yes. Yes? <laughs> uh, for my department, I don't know. I have, I have to check. I, I hope it will. Yes. Yes, I'm sure it will. I mean, the area of technology now with your department, I, I believe that it's, it's even better um, than, you know, because it's like a duo degree, isn't it? it You're yeah. a mixture of mm -hmm. computers and business. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you've got double chance there. <laughs> yeah, and but the area of business anyway is is such a wide range. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many things that you can do. I mean, I know students who actually graduate from business and and do some kind of business, but you know, different types of business in different areas and different aspects. There's so much, you know, such mm -hmm. a big range that you can do. Anyway, good luck to you both. Um, Thank you. Uh, I, it was lovely having you here. Um, you were both on a scholarship from the European University of Lefke, and um, you carried this uh, very, uh, you know, with pride. And you were always a sample student of our uh, university, and we'd like to thank you. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank you and wish you the greatest success. Um, in your future, and maybe we will see you back here to maybe to do your postgraduate degrees. Yes, why yeah, not? of course. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, um, one last thing I'd like you to share with our audience. A uh, simple question uh, in two sections. What are your short-term plans? You know, when I talk about short-term, I in the next couple of years, what do you plan on doing for yourself? Do you have any action plans for yourself set out? I think that uh, short-term plans is going to be for f uh, finding a job okay. or just yeah. have some work experience. Mm -hmm. And then when I will focus on the corresponding field, mm -hmm. then doing master on this field maybe, yeah. Very good. And how about you, Nur Sultan? Yeah, what are I'm your short-term plans? Yeah, I'm also like, I will try to find a job and I will do the holiday also. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Until the September. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I will find a job. I yeah. Think. Okay. Very good. Very well. I think you both deserve a nice long Thank rest. You. And mom, mom and dad are really looking forward to seeing you, I'm sure, um, back home. And I'm sure it's going to be a little strange for you to be back full time now, isn't it? Yeah. It, because it you've been going back mm -hmm. and forth, you know, for so many mm -hmm. years now that you know, you're going to go and it's different when you go and then you leave, but then it's different when you go and you stay, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. so it, it might need a little bit of adjustment. And the real life is actually starting now, you know, I mean, student life is, is a wonderful life and, uh, yeah, and I'm sure you will cherish it for the rest of your life because the real world is coming <laughs> soon. <laughs> so good luck to you both. Thank you. Thank okay, you um, one more thing. I want you, both of you, to tell me where would you like to see yourself in about 10 to 15 years from now? I mean, if you were to close your eyes and picture yourself in 10 years from now, what do you want yourself to see? How do you want to see that reflection in the mirror? What does it look like? Uh, uh, I think uh, in 10 years, I will see myself in a company, in a foreign company, maybe in a foreign country as a CEO of some department or, mm. yeah, 
I'd, I'd like to see. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Well, I'm sure with your intelligence and your beautiful smile, I'm sure you will go all the way. And how about you, Nur Sultan? How do you see yourself 10 years from now? After 10 years? I don't know uh, what will happen for after one year. <laughs> well, no one knows, of course. We don't know what's going to happen the next Tomorrow. day. But there's always a good thing about dreaming. You know, the yeah. first step of accomplishment is dreaming. Yeah. You want to, you know, you have to dream about it to make it happen, right? So, mm -hmm. how do you see yourself? Seriously. I mean, has anybody asked you this question before? Before? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay. I think. Uh, I will have a job and a family, of course, the children is uh, too hideous <laughs> for me. <laughs> After 10 years, <laughs> I'm not imagining that. <laughs> you don't want to have children in no, 10 no. years? No, no. You I do? I want, of course. Okay. Too. All right. But after 10 years, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Okay. All right. Well, definitely you're going to be a good businessman. I, I'm, I'm sure of that. Um, thank you once again for being thank here. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Congratulations to you. Thank and you. I wish you the best. Uh, and don't forget that no matter where you go, what you do, you will always be the ambassadors of the European University of Lefke. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another perfect show to show to you the colors of the rainbow of the European University of Lefke. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for being with us today. And I hope you enjoyed the show. And we'll see you next time. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Go! Go!